Welcome to the homework. This is grade one, module one. We're doing lesson 31. Write your name first before you forget to do it. And we are making math drawing. Have to have it. Have to have the math drawing. Here's an example of what the math drawing looks like. You drew apples here. Your apples could just be circles. They don't have to be neat little apples like those. So we're making a math drawing. Circle the part that you know and cross out the unknown part. So in all of these, there's going to be numbers that we know. We're going to know how many to draw. And we're, there's going to be two parts. One part we know. The other part we're going to have to count to figure out. So we're going to circle the part that they tell us. That's the part that will be the known. And then we're going to cross out the part that we don't know, that we have to count to figure out. And then we'll complete the number sentence and the number bond. Sounds like a lot, but you'll see how to do it. It's going to go pretty fast. Missy gets six presents for her birthday. She unwraps some. We don't know how many some is. That's going to probably going to be our unknown. But we know that four are still wrapped. So we have our, that's what we know. That four we know. The sum, we don't know how many this sum is. How many presents did she unwrap? That's what we have to figure out, is how much did she unwrap. So we draw, make the math drawing, right? Six presents. One, two, three, four, five, six. We circle the part we know. We knew about the four, right? And that's the, uh, the unknown. Those were the two that were left. We had to figure out that there were two left after we circled the four. So here's our number bond. We're going to finish that. We can see the two different parts that the six are in. The known was four and the unknown was two. And you can take six as a total. You can use subtraction minus. You can use subtraction to take the total apart, take the six apart into the four and the two. The four and the two. Missy were unwrapped two presents. That was the sum presents that she unwrapped. She unwrapped two of them. And we could label our picture too, right? We can say that uh, these four are still wrapped and these are you unwrapped. Number two. Anne has a box of eight markers. Some fall on the floor. We don't know how many. But six are still in the box. How many markers fell on the floor? So we have eight markers. So if you have a box of eight markers, that's how many there are before anything happens. So that's how, that's how many we have before we subtract, right? We're going to subtract. There it is. Minus. Before we subtract, we have eight. So we just start by drawing the eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We don't know how many fell on the floor. That's our unknown. Six are still in the box. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. B for box. And these two here are on the floor. F for floor. What's our total? Total is all the markers we had in the beginning before anything happened. That was the eight markers. That was our total. And then we knew that there were six still in the box and we had to count the two that fell on the floor. And we write our subtraction sentence. We start with, we start at the beginning. How much did we have before we subtracted? We had eight. And we subtracted the six that are still in the box. See this right here? Those are the ones, what are we supposed to do here? Are we supposed to cross these out? Yeah, we are. We're supposed to circle, oh, I made a mistake. We're supposed to cross out the unknown. So the unknown are these two. I, I circle them instead of crossing them out. So I'm going to erase my circle. Then I have to redraw one of those markers because I accidentally erased it. All right, so nah, those are crossed out. So we had the six that we knew about, the two that we had to count to see what was left. Two markers fell on the floor. We can see that's labeled in our picture. So we can tell markers fell on the floor. That's our F. That's our F. We can tell our picture. Our sentence matches our picture. That's how you can tell when you're done answering the question. You check that against your picture. Nick makes seven cupcakes for his friends. Some cupcakes were eaten. We don't know how many, but now there are five left. 
how many cupcakes were eaten. So there were seven cupcakes in the beginning. Let's draw all the seven cupcakes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We don't know how many were eaten, but we know that there are five left. One, two, three, four, five. These are the ones that are left. These are the ones that we didn't know about exactly how many. We didn't know those are the sum. We didn't know exactly how many, but those are the ones that were eaten. E. So we started with seven in the beginning. That that was our total. And we took it apart into the ones we knew, because they told us that there were five left. And we subtracted that. We had two that were eaten. So we started with seven. Seven we started with. And we knew about the five that were left. So we subtracted that. And the other part that was left of the seven was the two. That was our unknown. Two cupcakes were eaten. Number four. A dog has eight bones. He hides some of them. We don't know how many. He still has five bones. How many bones are hidden? So he's got eight bones. And you can draw pictures of bones if you want to have fun with it. Go ahead. Four. I'm just going to draw kind of circle thingies. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, we don't know how many he hides, but we know he still has five, right? So that's one, two, three, four, five. And these are the ones that that are the unknown. So we started with eight, and we took that apart into five that we knew about and we can count the three that were the sum that he hid and to write our subtraction sentence we start with how much this is subtraction minus is subtraction this is how much we had before we subtracted this is how much we subtracted that was the five we knew about and this is the three bones that were hidden that we figured out were left after we subtracted the five. That's what's left. So three bones were hidden. Cafeteria table can seat 10 students. Some of the seats are taken. So that's going to be our unknown. Seven seats are empty. How many seats are taken? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, there's ten seats. And you may know that if you know your parts of ten, you may, you may know this already without having to count it. And if you do, good on you. And uh, if you don't know your parts of ten, practice them some more so you know them all. Um, when you see you see ten and seven, you you should be looking like where's the three? You should just be looking for it and expecting to find it, and you're going to find it. Uh, so some of the seats are taken, seven are empty. We're going to circle the seven that are empty. There, and those are that's our unknown, which was we didn't know how many were taken, but we. Figure that out pretty easily there. Uh, so we started out with 10. And then we subtracted 7. There were 7 empty and 3 taken. Uh, so our subtraction sentence is we started with the 10, all 10, right? And we subtracted, minus is subtraction. How much did we subtract? We subtracted the 7 that we knew about. And we had three left that we counted after we subtracted. So, and that's the, the ones that we crossed out is how many were left. Three seats were taken. And now number six, our last one. Ron has ten sticks of gum. We're working with ten again. Great. Um, he has ten sticks of gum. He gives one to each of his friends. We don't know how many friends he has, so we don't know how many sticks of gum he's given away. But we know that he has three sticks of gum left. How many friends did Ron share with? So we're counting gum. Ten sticks of gum. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And you know that before, like in the first one, we had we knew about the seven, and so we, there were three left. Now we know about three. Guess how many are going to be left? Yeah, seven is going to be left. So he had three left. Those are the ones we knew about because they told us there were three left. We could label it L if we wanted. And so <clears throat> these are the ones he sh shared. Oops, those are the ones he shared with his friends. He started with 10 sticks. He shared. He had three left, so that meant he had to have shared. He had to share seven. And for subtraction, this is what minus is. We're subtracting. 10 is what we had before we subtracted. The three is what we knew about. So we subtracted the three and we counted to see what was left. Seven is our difference. That's the difference between 10 and three. Ron shared with seven friends.